Um, okay, so welcome everybody to our little room. So glad that you're all here. It's really great to see you. It actually really is to see other faces, other people working through stuff. Um, so I have been on this focus of aligning activation in the upper body and aligning the head and neck and the over the torso. So last time I think I shared about kind of where the lats should be. This time I, I'm going to teach you what I call magic. Ready? So what, what it is about is just hey, getting the head and the chest and everything working properly together. So if you want to try it out with me, you can lay down on your back. And what what we're trying what I'm trying to teach people to do is really give their neck a good support. So whenever they're on their backs, I usually cue the hands to squeeze the neck and the pinkies to really grip at the back of the occiput. So this really hitting the back of the occiput there. And then a lot of the mistake we see in, in any sort of upper ab work is that the head is just coming up by itself. But I've been trying to untrain that from people. So I have them think about where the rib cage is and where the shoulder blades go instead. So if I take a breath in here and exhale, let the rib cage drop down first without doing anything else and just stretch the back of my neck rib cage dropping down. Then my head actually even starts to float a tiny bit and then relax. I'm not going to take anywhere. I'm just going to take a breath in. Exhale, rib cage drops down. Back of the neck stretches along and I'm actually pulling it long and inhale. One more time, just that rib cage down, stretching the back of the neck long. Great. And then relax. And so the other piece of that is the shoulder blade. So if I then take my breath in, exhale, rib cage comes down, I pull the back of the neck and then I slide my shoulder blades down my back. Now my head really wants to float. So I'm just gonna let it fall on my spine. And if I stay here, I'm really just hanging here. My neck's not doing anything. It's really my rib cage and my shoulder blades. And if I keep going with my rib cage and I keep going with my rib cage and I keep correcting for those shoulder blades, I end up floating my head up and then going back down. So try that all together, taking a breath in. Exhale, rib cage going down, give length to the back of the neck, shoulder blades slide, and then squeeze the upper abs. And then I get this head lift by magic. So this is what I'm calling magic these days. One more time, rib cage down, shoulder blades down, head is being pulled long. Rib cage continues to pull down, shoulder blades down, and then the magic is I'm up here and there's no stress in my neck at all and it's all right focused into my upper ab region and then back down. So that has been my, my um, goal over the last week is to teach people how to get that head up without straining um, and then how to use the abs to lift the head and trunk. So there you go. So I'm going to turn this over to Allison. All right, guys, thank you for coming. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I, um, Zayna trained me. Um, I met Zayna in 2012 and enrolled in her teacher training program, which was fabulous. If you guys ever get a chance to uh, take any CECs with her, I highly recommend it. Um, I then had the privilege of working at Synergy for a couple of years before I moved to Florida. And um, I opened the studio here in Florida in 2016, and things have been going along swimmingly up until about, I'd say, March. <laughs> and so like a lot of you, um, things just sort of got uh, turned upside down. And um, I needed to, to quickly adjust and start um, training some of my clients at home. And um, Two of the issues that I had in convincing them that, you know, online training and even just mat training um, could be effective uh, to continue their Pilates program was that um, a, a, a lot of them didn't have any of the equipment at home. So any of the props that we normally have, um, they didn't have those. So I've gotten creative about different ways to replicate the props with things around the house, which is why you... Um, got the, the request for a bath towel for today. And then um, also uh, that, you know, there was this um, 
I know, misconception that somehow Matt Pilates wasn't as good as being on the reformer or on the tower. So I sort of uh, re-engineered uh, a couple of the exercises, which we'll do today, um, that are replicating things that they would have normally done on the reformer um, on the mat, uh, which I realize is sort of reverse engineering because most of the stuff we do on the reformer, you, you know, started on the mat, but... Um, uh, this just gives them uh, a little more of a sense of, you know, having that um, that balance and, and getting their money's worth, so to speak, for what they're doing. So hopefully you guys will um, be able to utilize some of this and um, the practice that you're doing. Um, and then also before we start, I don't know any of your backgrounds in terms of your medical um, issues. So if I cue something that's not appropriate for you, you're all instructors, you know how to self-modify or you know do something that is appropriate for your body. Um, but then I would also ask that if you do modify something that I did today, um, once Zaina posts the video, put it in the comments. And that way, um, you, you could say something like, you, if you have a client that has this, this exercise could be um, done in this way. I did it like this. It felt really good. Um, that way, we're still learning after this is over. Okay? So that being said, let's get started. Um, most of my clients did not have a roller. And in some ways, this is better for some of them with some of uh, the upper body issues. We're going to use a bath towel. So what you're going to do is take the towel. Fold it in half. Sorry, this one's so ratty. Lengthwise. And then you're going to roll it up like an egg roll. It's almost dinner time for me, so there's probably going to be a couple of references to food today. All right. So it should look like this when you're done. You guys got that? I'll wait a second for everybody to get this. If you don't have a towel with you today and you do have a roller handy, you can always use the roller. Um, but this, I feel like, is really comfortable, especially for some of the thoracic work we're going to do. So, um, And it's something that all of your clients have. They don't have to buy anything. Um, that was another thing. I didn't really want to ask them to buy stuff um, it, to be able to continue working out with me. So, all right, so let's get started. Looks like everybody is there. Ready to go? We're going to start lying on your back and you're going to put the towel between your inner thighs closer to your crotch than your knees. All right. So let's come curl all the way back, imprinting the bat into the spot. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. So your <clears throat> spine is imprinted. Your um, feet are about a fist distance apart. Your heels are closer to your, it's like everybody's in their position for a bridge. You're gonna squeeze those inner thighs together. Take an inhale here, on an exhale. Tuck the pelvis, squeeze the glutes, lift the hips into your bridge. Inhale here, exhale, lower back down. So warming up the spine, warming up the pelvis. Yeah, activating the inner thighs. We're gonna curl back up. And slowly lower down. Good. All right, keep going. We're going to do three more of these. Squeeze the glutes, lift the hips, squeeze those inner thighs, and lower down. Last two. Tuck the pelvis, squeeze the glutes, lift the hips into your bridge, and lower. The last one. Lift and hold. Hold it here. Squeeze those glutes. Squeeze the inner thighs. You're going to take your right leg. Keep squeezing here. All of your weight is going to go into your left heel. So squeeze the left glute, left heel. Right leg lifts and bends five times. Lift and bend. Activating the left. And bend. Lift. And then last one, lift and bend, hold here. Inhale, exhale, slowly lower the hips. Good. Other side, so we're gonna 
Exhale, back up into your bridge, squeeze the glutes. Activate your right side, left, lift, and tap. Lift, and tap. Lift, and tap. Lift, and tap. Last one. And tap, and slowly roll down. Good. All right. Stay down there. Take your towel. Lengthwise, you're gonna hold it between the knees and the ankles and come into tabletop. Good, everybody there? All right, let's take an inhale here. Now find your neutral pelvis position. You wanna keep the low back into the mat. You're gonna lower your toes down to tap the toes, but only go as low as you can while keeping the low back into the mat. You don't wanna arch forward. So you're gonna tap, exhale, lift the knees. Inhale, tap, exhale, lift. Inhale, tap, and lift, and tap, and lift. This is five, and lift. Three more, tap, and lift, tap, and lift, last one, tap, and lift. Hold it here. Everybody good? All right, bring the hands up. Inhale here. Exhale, draw the chin towards the chest. Curl up. Begin pumping the arms for your hundred. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Fifty. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Sixty. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Seventy. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Eighty. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Last ten. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Roll down, hug your knees into your chest, circle the knees clockwise, and counterclockwise. Good. All right. From here, you're gonna take the towel away, and you can press yourself up or roll up, whatever's more comfortable. You're gonna put the towel behind you. I'm gonna move my, just, just a little. Okay, so the towel is gonna go about where your bra strap is. So you want the tips of the shoulder blades touching. And you're gonna curl down right here. Good. And then interlace your hands behind your head to support your neck. Actually, just what Zaina was doing a few minutes ago. Elbows wide. We're gonna take an inhale here. On the exhale, come over the top and get a stretch through the thoracic spine. Careful with the low back, keep the abs engaged, and then exhale up. One more time, open up, feel the stretch, relax, breathe, and curl it up. Good, so staying here, staying lifted, I want you to keep one hand on your um, head, to support your neck, you're gonna take the other hand, middle finger and thumb. Middle finger is gonna find your belly button, thumb is gonna find the sternum. So from here, you want to pull those two points closer to each other to produce your upper ab curl. And you wanna try to hold that upper ab curl. That's your end point for this next exercise, okay? So as tight as you can get that. Hand comes back behind the head, you're gonna go back to neutral. Exhale, curl. Pull those two points together. Inhale, back to neutral. Exhale, curl. Inhale to neutral. Exhale, curl. Inhale to neutral. Exhale, curl. Inhale to neutral. Exhale, curl. This is five. And curl it up. Exhale it up. And curl up. 
three more, curl, two, curl, flattening the stomach each time you curl up, hold it here. All right, from this position, still pulling those two points closer together, this is where you're gonna hold the entire exercise. From here, you're going to twist. So we're gonna go to the right first for five counts and then to the left. Elbows are wide. Try to get the shoulder to the opposite knee. We're going to twist and center. You're still lifted in that upper ab curl and center. Twist, center, twist, center. Five, back to center. Other side, keeping the elbows wide, staying up the whole time in that upper ab curl. And center, exhale, four, center, last one. And center, come back to the center, come over the top and get the stretch. Back to neutral. Last exercise we're gonna do here. Um, if this isn't appropriate for you, please modify. The peel back is always to leave one leg down. But if you can, get both knees into tabletop, heels together, toes apart, and Pilates B. Pull those two points closer together. Hold here. We're going to go out for frogs. And in. Exhale, out. And in. And out. And in. And out. And in. For four. Three. Two. Last one, bend the knees, lower the feet down, and come one more stretch. And press yourself all the way up. And hold forward. Stretch out your backs of your legs, pull the toes towards you. Okay. All right, so we're going to use the um, towel a few minutes from now. We don't need it. Um, you do need your band now. If your band isn't long enough or if you don't have a band, you can always use light weights for this. Um, one of the things that some of my clients that didn't have hand weights at home, I've been doing with them is to get them to get a water bottle or like kombucha bottle or something like this, fill it with rice or marbles or whatever to get to the appropriate weight, and this makes – an easy hand weight that they don't have to spend money on. Okay, so from here, you're gonna <clears throat> sit with your legs crossed. If you need um, something underneath you, if this, isn't, uh, if this is uncomfortable, grab your towel, put it under your tailbone. So this is one of those exercises that we used to do on the reformer that we sort of modified for home use. You're gonna take your band, you're gonna sit on it. Okay, and you want to make sure that it's even on either side, like this. You can't pull it away. Good. All right. So I'm holding my band like this. It enters next to the pinky. It exits next to the thumb, kind of holding here. If you want to wrap yours, if yours is long enough to do that, that's fine. Whatever is comfortable, but I feel like this is the best option for holding them. Okay, so... Modified front rowing. You're gonna start with your hands on your knees. Elongate the spine. Take a breath here. Relax the shoulders. On the exhale, you're gonna reach the arms out in front of you, shaving off the tops of the knees, and then tap, and then lift over the head. If you need to go wider to keep the shoulders down, you can. Inhale here, exhale the arms down by your sides, and rest them on the knees. Good, again, you're gonna reach the arms out and lower and up over the head and out to the sides and rest to the knees. Again, exhale out and tap and reach the arms up and out to the sides and to the knees. Two more, exhale here and tap. And reach it up, inhale here, exhale, lower down. And on the knees, 
Last one. Reach the arms out and tap and lift and open and back to the starting position. Good. All right, more rowing. So you're gonna turn. I'm gonna turn so you can see what I'm doing. Um, you guys, all you need to do is straighten the legs out in front of you. Again, if you need that support, you can put the towel under you. Take the band, put it over your toes, okay? And then from here, you're gonna cross it, creating an X. Okay, if you want to wrap this, you can, whatever feels comfortable here for you. And we're gonna do the rowing. So, my favorite Ellie exercises. We're gonna start here, you're gonna make fists with your hands, create a little diamond shape with the elbows, and really reach this up to the ceiling. So grow taller before we even begin. Take an inhale here. On the exhale, you're gonna come into your C-curve spine, you're gonna come halfway down and hold it here. Inhale the arms out to the sides without moving the back. Now hollow out the belly, hold forward, bring the arms behind the back. Holding here, you're gonna take an inhale, straighten the arms behind you, bring the arms all the way around in a circle and then bring the fists back together as you stack the spine and grow as tall as you can here. Good. Again, inhale, exhale, tuck the pelvis down into C-curve spine. Open the arms wide, hollow out the belly, bringing the arms behind you. Inhale, the arms straight behind you, circle them forward, and then come all the way back to stack spine position. Last one, tuck the pelvis, curl back into your C-curve spine, open the arms to a T, Hollow out the belly, dive forward, bring the arms behind you. Inhale the arms straight, circle them in front of you, and restack the spine. Good. Okay, so two little exercises, just using a band, or you can use light weights to emulate things that you would normally do on the reformer. We're going to go back to that. Grab your towel. So instead of having it in a roll, you're just gonna fold it in half, okay? Like so. And then the folded part that's on top, you want that facing you. All right. So <clears throat> come into your side. You're, this is, I'm in the Z position for um, mermaid. If this is uncomfortable for you, you can always stack the knees, whatever feels comfortable. I'm gonna start here. So you're gonna sink the hip down, try to open this up. Good, and let everyone get there. Perfect. Okay, so the fabulous thing about this is just like Mermaid on the Reformer, and you can tell if your clients have been cheating because if you're not using your abs, what's gonna happen is you're gonna, it's gonna look like this, and when they're trying to come back, they're pulling it like that, and that's because they're jamming their shoulder, they're not using serratus, they're not using their core to lift them back up, okay? So let's begin, you're gonna place whichever hand, <laughs> wherever your turn. I'm gonna start with the left hand. All right, we're gonna start here, exhale the arms out and over. And then let's bring it back and lifting towards the ceiling, using your abdominals to pull you back in. Exhale out, lightly touching your towel. Inhale, lift to come back in. Exhale. And inhale it in. Good, two more. And in, lifting out of the waistline towards the ceiling. Last one. And bring it in. Perfect. All right. Rotate the shoulders towards your towel, both hands down. You're allowed to lift the hip now. <clears throat> Gazes forward. Inhale here. Exhale, press the arms out away from you. 
Inhale, lift the belly and pull it in. And exhale, press it out. And inhale, belly button pulls to the spine, head lifts towards the ceiling. And in. Two more. Out. And in. Last one. And pull it in. And rotate forward. Grab onto your ankle and pull to the opposite side. All right, we're going to stay on this side. We're going to come down on your elbow. So elbow directly beneath the shoulder. Knees are stacked, hips are stacked. You want your knees about 45 degrees from the body. Okay, you wanna stay lifted here through the abs. Good, and no movement in this hip. You're gonna lift the knee and lower. So if you don't wanna be rocking back, you wanna keep everything stacked, lift and lower. Working the hips. Good. Two more. All right. From here, we're going to lift up onto your side. I'm going to tuck this in so you can see what I'm doing. Um, if this is too much for your shoulder, that's okay. Just stay here. Everybody else, you're going to lift up into a side plank. Hold it here. And we're going to open and close the knees. Two. Three, so stay lifted here and breathing. Good, three more. Last one, lower the hips, take a break. But last exercise we're gonna do, same position. If you need to stay down for this, you can, otherwise you're gonna go back up into your side plank. So we'll lift. Straighten the top leg, straighten the top arm. Inhale here, exhale, elbow to knee, and stretch. Knee, stretch, knee, stretch, knee, stretch, knee, stretch. For five, four, three, two, and one. Lower the hips, take a break, come all the way up. All right, other side. So you're gonna grab your towel, starting with mermaid. Reposition the legs. You need to be in Z position or stack knees. You just wanna try to sink this hip down as much as you can and keep this leg on the floor as you bend over. Let's begin. Exhale, reach it up and over. Pulling the belly button to the spine. Inhale, pull it back in. Imagine you're being lifted towards the ceiling with a cable. And three. And lift. Four. Beautiful, guys. Last one. Over and all the way back up. Good. All right, rotate now towards your uh, towel. Faces forward. You can lift this hip now. Inhale here. Exhale, press this away from you. Inhale, pull it in. Exhale, press. Belly button to spine. Lift out of the waistline. And lift, and lower, and lift, last one, and bring it all the way in, rotate back towards me, grab onto the ankle, pull to the opposite side, good, okay, come on to the elbow, we've got the clam series now, this elbow is directly beneath the shoulder, 
here, lifting from the waistline, so not sinking here, not collapsing into the shoulder. Good. Knees are about 45 degrees from the body. Hips are stacked. Open and close for eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Good. All right. Option to stay here. Otherwise, you're going to lift up. Should not have worn this shirt. Into a side plank. Good. And we're going to open and close again for eight, seven, six, five. Keep reaching the neck away from the collarbone. Two. Last one. Lower the hips. Good. All right. Again, option to stay down on the floor. Otherwise, we're going to go to this side plank and a lifted crunch. So you're going to up, straighten the leg, straighten the arm, elbow to knee, and reach. Knee and reach. Knee and reach. Not a lot of movement in the torso. It's all in the arm and leg. Seven, three more, eight, and nine, and ten. Lower down. Good job. Okay, moving on. So we're going to do a plank. I always like to throw in a plank. So um, you can either be on your hands, but if that bothers your wrist, you're going to be on your elbows. Elbows can be, um, you can be parallel or in prayer pose. Pilates V with the feet. Go to your plank, and we're going to hold the plank for one minute, okay? All right, so I like to move my elbows. This out, drop it down, and we will start now. I might have done this on this now. All right, so I always like to distract myself when I'm doing a plank, and um, thinking about... Squeezing the inner thighs together, squeezing the glutes, staying out of my shoulders, and imagining there's a huge weight belt around my waist, and there's a cable attached to it, and it's lifting me towards the ceiling. Continue to breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. And we got 15 seconds left. Last five seconds. Last one. Drop down to the knees. Press back into child's pose. Saying they used to tell everyone when we were working with her that we should do a plank every night before we go to bed. So I credit her for my love of planks. All right, we're gonna do an additional plank type exercise. You can either do this on your knees or you can do it on your feet. But essentially what we wanna do is tap the opposite shoulder. So it'll look like this. If this is too much on your shoulders, skip this exercise, just do another plank. Um, if you want to be on your knees, you need to be in a plank position first in order to do this correctly. Best way to do this, if you're new to it, is to start with a really wide stance. So you're not going to be in Pilates V, you're actually going to be wider than you would normally be for a push-up. And you're also going to have your hands a little closer together than you would normally be. And then the progression here is to open the arms out a little bit wider as you get stronger and bring the feet a little closer together, okay? All right, so five on each side. Let's go out to the plank, lift it here, and then we're going to bring right hand to left, left hand to right. Try not to rock side to side. So squeeze the glutes, use the core, maintain your position. One more on each side, and then drop to the knees. 
That's an excellent one to see how well you're utilizing your core. If you're not really using it a lot, you're gonna use momentum to rock from side to side. If you're really dialed in here, you're able to keep all of this still, okay? All right, let's turn over. How much time do we have left? We're okay. We're gonna turn over to flat now in prone position. Hands are gonna come out in front of you, thumbs up towards the ceiling. Separate your feet a little wider than your hips. Forehead down. You're gonna keep the chin tucked as you lift up. And hold here, alternate side to side for swimming. Squeezing the glutes, not lifting the neck. Neck stays in line with the spine. Alternate side to side for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, take a break. Okay, similar exercise. This time we're going to cross the hands over each other. Feet, you wanna make sure you're tucking the pelvis, pulling the belly button to the spine. Lift the legs towards the ceiling, click the heels together for Charlie Chaplin. 20 beats here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and set it down. All right, last prone exercise. Leave your forehead down, bend your knees, heels together, toes apart. Inhale here, exhale, lift the heels and lower. Exhale, lift. And lower, lift and lower, lift and lower for four, three, two, last one, and straighten the legs. Bring your hands by your sides, press up and back into child's pose for a stretch. All right, so the last bit of this, we're gonna do standing. If you wanna readjust your cameras, you can. I'm gonna do that now. Okay, you're gonna need your light weights and you'll need your band. <clears throat> okay, so everything that I'm doing with the band can also be done with the weights, um, except for this first exercise. So let's start with the weights. This, is, this should be less than five pounds, unless you've been doing a lot of heavy upper body work. Everybody there? Good. All right, so the bat wings. We're going to work on your triceps now. Your elbows are going to be in line with your shoulders. You're going to pull the shoulder blades down the back, soften the knees. Parallel feet, inhale here. Exhale, push the arms towards the ceiling. Inhale, bend back to 90 degrees. Exhale, press it up. Inhale, bend. And press, and bend. And press, and bend. Five. Five more. Four, three, two, and one. Hold it up there. I'm going to move back so you can see my whole body. Good. Just the right side for five, four, three. Pull the shoulders down. Squeeze between the shoulder blades. One. Hold it up there. Other side. Bend and straighten for five. Four, 
three, two, one. Hold it there. Lower the arms down by your sides and roll the shoulders back. If you want to stay with the weights here, you can, or you can work with the band. I'm going to switch to the band. More things that you can do with your clients. If they don't have a band, you can do everything that I'm doing now with the light weights. Okay? All right. So with the band, you're going to step in with your right foot. Your left foot's going to go behind you like this. All right, so you're in a lunge position. Your right knee is bent. If you can get the heel to the floor on the left leg, great. If you can't, you can just put the toe down. This is a great calf stretch. Okay, and from here, you're gonna lift the arms until they're even with the shoulders and lower, and then exhale, lift the arms to a T and lower. So from the front, it looks like this. Lift and lower lift and lower all the while you're sliding the shoulder blades down the back staying out of the traps lift and lower lift and lower one more and lift and lower good stay in this position but shift all the weight onto the right foot so Lots of my clients are having balance issues because they're staying in their house all day long. So I like to add a little balance work as well. Okay, so let's bring the weight into the heel and then make the glute fire here. Okay, so it's not all in the quad. We're gonna start with a bicep curl. Hold the bicep curl and then hinge forward just like you would for elephant and then lower down and release the arms. So from the front, it looks like this. We're going to bicep curl. Hinge forward, just like elephant. Bring it back. Release the biceps. Bicep curl. Hinge forward. Bring it back. And release. Bicep curl. Hinge forward. Bring it back. And release. Last one. Bicep curl, hinge forward, back, and release. Good. All right, one more balance exercise. Work in the rhomboids. Weights in your right foot. You're going to hinge over, bring all the weight into the heel, fire the glute, lift the arms to the side, lower the arms, lower the leg. Hinge over, lift, lower, flex. Hinge, lift, squeezing between the shoulder blades, lower, two more. Hinge, lift, lower, up. Last one, and lift, and lower, and bring it down. Good, other side. So we start in the lunge position, right knee is bent, or sorry, left leg is bent, right leg is straight. And we're gonna reach the arms up in front of you and then open to a T. And the arms come forward to shoulder height and open to a T. If you have any shoulder issues, you can also turn the thumbs up as you open. It gives the socket a little more space. Up and open, last one and open. Good. All right. Bicep curl, elef one legged elephant. <laughs> You're going to bend into your bicep curl, bring the weight into your left leg this time, hinge forward, lifting the right leg. Bring the right leg back down, release the arms. Good, again, bend and reach it forward and lower and release. Bend and forward 
and lower. Release. Bend. Push forward. Lower. Release the arms. Last one, bicep curl. Hinge forward. And lower. And release. Last one here, working the rhomboids, also working the balance. So all the weight is in your left leg. Try to bring some weight into the left heel to fire the glute, so it's not all quad. And we're going to hinge forward, open the arms to a T, lower the arms, lower the leg. Hinge forward, open to a T, lower the arms, lower the legs. Hinge forward, and T, and lower, and lift two more. Hinge forward, T, lower, lift, last one, bring it forward, and open the arms, lower the arms, back to your T. Good job. Okay, trying to be cognizant of the time. All right, bring that band behind you, just above the waist. You're gonna turn the palms up, holding on here. You can always wrap if you want. Good, okay, separate your feet. You're gonna be in your Pilates V, but in second position. Inhale here, exhale, you're going to slide down the wall behind you as you straighten the arms and then bend the elbows. You need to make this harder. You can always choke up and back and extend and bend. So it's kind of like footwork on the reformer. Exhale down, exhale down. Last one. Hold it here, lift up onto the toes so the heels stay lifted. Bring the arms into the sides. We're gonna go down an inch, press the arms out, lift an inch. Down an inch, lift an inch. Down an inch, lift an inch. Down an inch, lift an inch. Four, three, two, one, good, lower the heels, straighten the legs, shake it out. Parallel feet, keep the hips forward, open the arms to the sides, you're gonna rotate and center, rotate, center, rotate, center, hips stay forward, rotate, center, one more on each side, Center, rotate, and center. Bring the arms together, release your band. One more rotation exercise. So, feet are gonna come a little closer together. You're gonna hold your arms out in front of you. So we're gonna be working the rhomboids a little here. So let's do a couple of those. You're gonna slide your shoulders down your back and open the arms and close. Okay, good, all right, single leg. So all the weight comes onto the left leg, right knee comes to tabletop, press this wide, pull it together. Press and pull, press, pull, press and release. Two more, last one. Set the foot down, other side. Bring the arms out. We're gonna open the band and close. Open and close. Open, close, open, close. Four more. Three, two, one. Place it down. Back to the original side adding a rotation. Okay, so your right knee comes to tabletop, soften the left leg, squeeze the glute, get everything firing here. Also feel that connection 
that we used earlier with the inner thighs using the towel. Bring the arms out in front of you. You're gonna rotate and come back to center. Rotate and center. Rotate, center. Rotate, center. <laughs> A long day. And center and place the foot down. Other side. Left knee lifts, rotate to the left side, soften the right knee, rotate, center, rotate, center, rotate, belly button to spine, rotate, center, last one, and center, and place the foot down, shake it out. All right, we have five minutes left, so I'm gonna do a little cool down, and, then if anybody wants to stay on um, to chat, be happy to do that. Okay, separate your feet wider than your hips. Reach the arms up over the head. Inhale here, exhale, dive forward. If this is too loaded for you, soften the knees. Otherwise, you're gonna keep the legs straight, relax the neck, hang here for a second. Go ahead, walk your hands over to your right foot. Keep the hips in the center, get a stretch behind the right leg. And then come back to center. And now over to the left, my right. And back to center. And now soften the knees, squeeze the glutes, pull the belly button to the spine, and slowly restack the spine all the way back up. Roll your shoulder blades open and down the back. In through the nose and out through the mouth. You guys are done. Thank you so much. You are welcome. I try to incorporate as many things as I was seeing with my clients right now in terms of like their balance issues um, and just, you know, just making them feel like they're still getting the same workout that they would be getting. I don't really have the space to do a lot of mat work in my studio. Um, the only mat work we really do is on the platform, you know, for the tower, and that's 18 inches off the ground. So not a lot of open reg <laughs> rocker there or anything like that where they could fall off. So it's um, it's been fun. Yeah. I love your innovation with the towel roll. I really love that and your sequencing and then your creativity with the band. I mean, it's great. It's really great. Any questions? Um, I was just going to say the um, weighted tricep one, I didn't have why I just modified with the band. I don't know if you've done that one before, but I just did it kneeling. Okay. And under my knees and then did the lift that way. So oh, yeah. I think that, that works pretty well. Cool. Thank you. That's, that's good. That's um, exactly why I like these because we get um, other ideas. Um, yeah. So anyway. Yeah. There's, if you want another idea too, um, I was doing very similar but different. So this one that you were having us do with all the different things here, the other two that I've been actually switching it now so that the leg on the band is behind because I've been so into the opening of the chest that I've been having them go here and then try and go that way and then bend and press triceps that way. So. That's something you could add. I hadn't actually thought about your way. I just thought about it my way. I was like, oh look, there's the other half of my way. It's her way, you know? So that's why it was really great to see. And I actually, with the rolled up towel behind, I was thinking about being on the arc, how on the arc we have that negative to neutral upper ab curl that we haven't been able to use, which is actually a great way for people with osteoporosis so you don't want to load upward. And with the soft towel behind the spine, it actually doesn't feel like it would be too impactful on the thoracic and you can start working that negative to neutral um, again, which is I hadn't really thought about doing. I always thought the roller was, you know, I wouldn't want them really bending over the roller because it's so firm and, you know, when you, when you did that, I was like, oh, hey. Yeah, that one, uh, one of my clients has um, pretty severe scoliosis and a couple of other things going on. And, um, and she's always really forward. So we try to open her up, but like you said, the, um, 
like a normal roller is way too much for her. Like there's no way that she could get over it. So by get it using a towel, you can make it as thick or thin as you need it to be for them to, you know, just even if just a couple of inches, yeah. um, is like really a lot of work for her. So yeah. And it feels soft. So it doesn't feel like too much pressure or discomfort either. So yeah, it was great. Thank you.